Progeny behind the Fang podcast with my amazing wife and co host Ming Chow and Neapolitan Wu. And we're here with our special Thanksgiving episode, our Ode to Fall Winners poetry contest. It's going to be amazing. Yes, and we're doing it on Thanksgiving, so it's a very special uh, recording. And yeah, so these are winners from the Ode to Fall. Progeny Events Committee sponsored poetry contest and the winners were announced at the Halloween ball on the 30th when notice was also sent out but we're going to recap it for you and Craig's got the winners and this time we're not going to make you wait to the end because <laughs> we know how you turkeys are right Craig? Well exactly I figured you know what these are the winners okay. so they deserve to be mentioned first so here they are starting at number one autumn again by lady alphon number two autumn in my sentiments by lady granania blood moon third place falling leaf by lady aileen eldritch so, congratulations, Lady Alphon, for being number one. We're going to start off yeah. with this amazing poem. Yes. Yes, congratulations to Lady Alphon, Blood Dragon Mint. So, shall I go on ahead, Craig, and read this? Please do. I am very excited to hear the winning poem. Craig loves poetry. Right, Craig? <laughs> A big fan of the arts. Okay, so, Autumn again. In this soulless world I find you. The night is a blanket of leaves on the ground. And I stalk your step from my shadows. I feel you. It's autumn and your hair shines a lunar again. Eternally hurts me. It's slowing down. I hear again the rustle of your shadow. Can't you see I'm thirsty? And I lurk in the nothingness looking for you. A glimpse in the hole losing you. Your hair shines whiter and whiter. And I thirst for time that passes so fast. I alone unchanging. Eternal being smelling your blood. Seeing you longing. My love is a dark flame frozen in time. And I'll never be able to tell you it's autumn. Again. That was great. I felt it in my heart, in my soul. Me too. My favorite part was about the thirst. I must say, yeah. yes, I like that. And I love the very yeah. end. It, I don't know. The, the end of it, the last line, and I'll never be able to tell you it's autumn again, is quite, I don't know, there's something about that. So, yeah. moving on to our second winner. Autumn in my sentiments. Yeah. Lush green leaves with lo loving promises. Kisses flowing in rivers of life. Illusionary life. Waterfalls of the soul that searched with longed thirst. Warmth that burned and shelter that you gave me. Let me walk through my forest of lava. Let the dry leaves be lost in my footsteps. Let the kisses I longed for burn in my memories. The rustle of each leaf, feeling that I posed. Don't despair, said the snail. Wait for the green with love. 
let the sun and the rain do, for it will always be reborn. Ah, it's just beautiful. Again, we're talking about the thirst. It's an important part of our lives, right? Very much so. And I like the metaphors too, like the death bringing mm -hmm. life, like autumn. And walking through the forest of lava. <laughs> yes. It's beautiful. And there was yes, even these... a snail. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes, We're there was. Disney vibes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, congratulations. Winner number two, Lady Anane. I'm sorry, I'm not going to say it right. Say it, Craig, please. <laughs> I'm from the South, y'all. Don't, don't send me hate mail. Go ahead, Craig. <laughs> Lady Lagrainania. Blood Moon. Blood Moon. Yes. Congratulations. That's an amazing poem. Okay. So, winner number three was Lady Eileen Aldrich through Mori. And it's called Fallen Leaf. Gosh, we're going to need some water. And <laughs> by the end of this, we got a lot more to go. Okay. So, and we're doing this all for you guys, all for the community. We're so selfless. As one walks along the path in autumn, feel and hear the crunch of dead leaves. Why must they be dead and decay of such beauty? Looking up, you see the leaf of colors, beauty and grace. A simple breeze dances above the eyes. True to nature, as it glides in the air with a fairy like taste, autumn is here for the shorter days or near. Once all that was green and lush are now slowly going to their slumber for a long nap. This leaf, still dancing with twirls, never wanting to fall to the ground. Colors of orange, red, brown, a maple that dances with pure delight. Is that a fairy that helps it dance? Is that the wind that wishes for its stay and play? Or is the leaf alive and never wanting the death to hit the ground? As the hands reach before with grace and ease, waiting and wanting the beauty that dances. The sounds of cracking leaves beneath, this leaf dances before you ever wanting to never reach the ground. With a whisper, you are free and go farther than the fairies can take you. For you are not falling, you are dancing with everlasting autumn. Go and be free, for the leaf is a spirit that is not like ours. Beautiful. Lady Eileen, well done. I love yes. it, I must say. <laughs> Congratulations. So, those were our top three winners of the Ode to Fall poetry contest we want to congratulate them all but we only have one winner so big shout out to <laughs> lady Al. yes i wanted to say it perfect a fun lady alphon blood dragon congratulations it was a beautiful poem and beautiful still that last line i love it i'll never be able yeah. to tell you it's autumn again. Yeah. All My right. love is a dark flame frozen in time. Yes. <laughs> it's eternal. Mm -hmm. So, now we are going to go back and we are going to start at number 10 and work our way down. We wanted to share our amazing winners with y'all because we know some of y'all are going to listen to this whole thing. Hopefully you do. But yes. Make sure you also click that like and subscribe button. So back to it. The Vampire's Wife. Uh oh. <laughs> Sounds like a good one. All right. Well, at first, of course, I thought it was romantic. You climbing through the window in the night, overwhelming me with passion and departing before the dawn. You drank from me, and I could see I gave you life. I alone. 
but with every time you drank, I grew weaker, emptied of myself, and filled with you. Life with you was not as I expected. You made me wear that long white dress because you liked it. You said I couldn't get a job because I had to be awake for you at night. It wasn't easy. The neighborhood dogs howling at all hours, the excuses to the neighbors for why you were never there. Some people knew. They asked me, didn't I want to be free? But by then I had no more desires that did not find their origin with you. When you desired to drink from me, I desired to give you what you wanted. You said you couldn't help it. Something happened to you long ago that made you what you are. You said you'd try to give it up, and I thought perhaps you would. You started walking in the late afternoon before the sun had set. You wore a hat and sunscreen for me. What a man. And you switched to eating hamburgers. Very, very rare. But there were other things. The bits of grave dirt clinging to your pant leg. A tiny smear of blood upon your collar. Then I knew. When they came for you, I stood and I watched. I did not lift a hand or raise my voice to warn you. But of course, I had no will. It was the day and you were sleeping. But when they drove the stake into your heart, I felt your agony and screamed. And then I tried to save you. I suppose I don't know why. If I could save you, wouldn't I have done it long before? E.S. Gravios. Professor Edgin Edgar <laughs> Gravios. That was a very, very awesome poem. I loved it. It was very dark. It's chanting dark. It was. Ah, I loved it. Craig, that sounds like what you do to me during the day. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I loved it. It was amazing. Now, Professor Edgar also wrote, wrote a second poem. So I will be reading this one. It's called Suspicion. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. So there are varmin in this house. I know it. Sometimes late at night, I hear their soft, persistent scratching in the walls. Their voices just outside the range of hearing. They think I do not hear them, but I do. And sometimes from the corner of my eye, I catch the merest glimpse, a tail that disappears around a corner in the hall and leaves no after image in my eye. There are signs, disturbances in dust, faint prints of footsteps lingering on the stairs. A sudden feeling of unease, a cold, swift breeze where none should be. And then the silence, oh, the silence, punctuated by bursts of purest nothingness. Embodied absence, so much more solid than the things I hear and see. I know they're here. They leave the faintest stench that hangs about the flowers by the door. And in the mirror now, sometimes I see a face that's not my own. I hear them when I sleep. A click and tap of claws upon upon the floor, a gurgling exhalation of decay, the crisp, dry whisper of leathery wings. So once again, that was Professor Edgar Gravios. Congratulations. You have just written two amazing poems. Thank you for participating. Yes, another amazing poem I really enjoyed. Some really good good lines here I must say so moving on to number three autumn twilight oh to fall by lady raven la vie ravnos okay who a ravnos awesome well here we go the scent of frost See? Tingles. the ravnos likes thoughts as well I'm sorry I couldn't go <laughs> <laughs> 
You hear that, folks? I was doing so well. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I just wanted to make that point. See? Okay. Alrighty. The scent of frost tingles the air. At war with the reminder of summer's heat. The crackle of leaves crunch under one's foot. As the sound of laughter fills the air. Children run and play. Adults laugh at their games. Monsters and ghouls, princess and heroes, walk among the shorter days. Yet within the joy, the hint of sorrow. For at this time, the light ebbs to the dark. The veil thins and past returns. To walk the streets among the young. Hidden among the costume children are truth of our ancestors or ancient myths walking among us during the season, trusting that all will say, what a great costume, and look the other way. Autumn rules the in-between. The warmth of summer, the cold of winter, neither completely in charge. The mistress of balance eases the change. Twilight comes to the front. The day shrinks in its length the night begins to grow and the in-between of dusk becomes a queen i walk with vampires laugh with demons i release the warmth and bring the cold neither day nor night alive nor dead i am autumn here i am that was beautiful wow I release the warmth and bring the cold. I love that. Me too. Thank it's you so like, much, Lady Ravnos. This was an incredible poem. It's like the autumn is almost like, you know, it's like a grim reaper of such. It brings death to promote life. Like, hmm, cool. I love it. Me too. It's Don't beautiful. And I'm so happy to see, like, no many different easy. walks. What? I did mess up that ancient line, but... so no Oh, you're going to get some hate mail, Miss <laughs> Star. I'm writing it right now. Oh, you're DJ Craigie. <laughs> when you read not. something, listen here. <laughs> you're doing a great job. It's not easy, folks, to read, it's not read all easy. this, believe it's it or easy. not. <laughs> Hey, hey, you butterball turkey, you. You're my favorite turkey, Craig. I'm thankful for you. Oh, well, thank you. And happy Thanksgiving to my amazing American friends. So. Yes, we you were supposed to say, I'm thankful for you, too. Well, okay. Yeah. That's no. what I was saying. Okay. So, moving on to number four, we have Natura Morta. Okay. It's poisonous claws scratching up from the inside of my chest. They open a path of lurid squalor, pestering the internal wounds with rotten meat that spreads from within to the skin that crawls and dies cell by cell into the empty state air, stale air, my apologies, empty stale air surrounding our conversation. The words that float from one breath to another without ever really landing to a precise spot of connection. They just mimic meanings and thoughtfulness when they are void of any feelings. There is no spark of life, no life itself denied to us by the putrid scent we ignore the existence of, no knowledge of pain or reality a dull sense of immortality as we still like the dust suspended motion our lips without sense nor sense of self corroding second by second by second till we become dust ourselves see Craig I made a mistake too so now we're one for one keeping score well, okay still such a great those words were really moving. I like it. 
Me too. The putrid scent we ignore the existence of. It's a dull sense of immortality. I love this. Eroding it's beautiful. By second. I yeah. That. I love so, it. Aaron, this one was... Yes, go ahead. Nature Galley Carthage. Congratulations. That was such a an interesting poem, I gotta say. I really enjoyed it. Very unique, and the words you chose, like, to describe time, like, corroding second by second, I really, really enjoyed that, so. I did, too. It's absolutely, uh, it's very moving. Good job. Thank you for participating. Okay, so. Oh, we're at our halfway mark at number five. With oh, half time! <laughs> <laughs> with Let the Wind Blow by Carol Carthridge Nightwalker. Let the wind blow, cause it fall. <laughs> Let me restart. Uh, Two. Two for one. <laughs> Let the wind blow, cause it is fall. The smells of pumpkins and spice. The night air I can see changing and feeling. The cool air on my neck. I feel the shadow behind the trees. The witches and ghouls are there. They come to play. From out of the shadows, the vampire comes. It's that time of year when I can let myself go. To be out, to hunt, to fly in the wind. It's my time of year, the fall. Let the wind blow, fly high in the dark sky with all the spice and pumpkin. For it is Halloween and the wind blows. So all who is creepy and spooky, it is our time. Out to let the wind take us high come. Out from behind the trees, it's our time to play. So all I can say is, let the wind blow. The fall, it is the dark, it is our time to play. So let the wind blow. Beautiful. Let the wind blow. Agreed. Was very festive. Love all the pumpkin spice and witches and ghouls. It's beautiful. And that one was by Lady Carol Carthage Nightwalker. So very nice work. Thank you so much for participating. Yes, and I love pumpkin spice. So. <laughs> yes. All right. Moving on to poem number six. It is. <sighs> We have no title. So, it's poem number six by Aodim Resident. Aodim Darkheart as yes. Garth. Okay. So, North Wind Whistles, knocking summer from Dominion. Soft steps steal the silence. Such fallen leaves crackle, fairy underfoot. No hot breath goes unnoticed or unmeasured. Death dared not devour what her heart heaves unrequited. A season passing as she walked amidst hallows, cursed. She stops all at once, ears following the man-thing's movement. Yes, a debt still was owed. Blood payment pending, touching her heart, picturing a face forgotten, she smirks serpentine as a shadow shuffles. Thanks have found him, her feast of flutter passing. Her mark folds in a birth grave of ochorous and cold dead. Well, that's, that's a beautiful one, huh? I like the ending, dead. I was going to say the ending is quite permanent. <laughs> <laughs> it is. It's riveting. It's very permanent. That's a beautiful poem. Thank you so much. Thank you for participating. And yeah, that one, I don't think it has a title. It was just called Autumn Poem Submission. Okay. Yes. Okay. But it's beautiful. I love the choice of words. It's, it's beautiful. Well, the words kind of made up for no title, I will say. <laughs> so we're going to move on to number <laughs> seven. Yes. And this one as well does not have a title. This Ode to Fall. The Ode to Fall by Diablo Wu. 
Okay. Yes. All right. Ode to Fall. The fall has cometh to this world, and leaves are taking color. Weather cold and rain is pouring. Summer left a mark so scorching. Some animals will go to sleep, but I still cannot sleep. The blood is running cold. Vampires are now bold. The nights are getting darker. Undead are lurking, biting on the victim poor. For now, they are now the prey. I seek thou blood, ye mortal realm. Fangs look sharp and coming from hell. I look up on the sky, and it's blood moon tonight. This is O to fall tonight. Bloody moon in the sky, pools of blood mixed with rain, and now leave for the midnight train. I'm wow, nice work, Diablo. Yes. A lot of fangs, a lot of blood, a lot of blood moon. Oh, Loved it. That was right. <laughs> I, I was yeah. saying I love the, the blood moon and the blood, like the pools of blood on the ground. Yeah, and we did have a blood moon um, mm -hmm. recently, so yeah. A lot of stuff going on in that poem. Thank you so much, Diablo, for participating. Amazing work. And now we have poem number eight in Autumn Night's Dream by Ara Wu. Oh, awesome. Okay. Yeah, two woos in a row. Yes. Two oh, woos. Hell okay, so we're, we're getting there. We're getting there. Okay. So I hope we're doing these poems justice. I really do. And for all those that are like, this is so scripted and blah. Nah, this is on the fly. This is so raw and real. Right, Craig? Always. <laughs> You hear he's he's thinking, just read live. the stupid poem, man. <laughs> yeah. It's, we are live. There is no going back on this. We already made two mistakes, two for two. Okay, so. Here we go. An autumn night stream. The nights grow cold, the moon is high. Darkness fills the midnight sky. Chilly winds blow all around. Leaves fall gently to the ground. And in the sky, the autumn moon brings an air of doom and gloom. Ghosts and ghouls will soon be here, for Hollow's Eve is drawing near. The undead rise and roam the streets, while children beg for tricks and treats. The werewolves howl, the vampires loom. Will it be you who meets their doom, or will you wake up from this dream to face another? Halloween. I love this. This is great. Yes, me too. Very well done. Very nice. Was. Very well done. I love the choice of words and short but very sweet. I loved it. The... Very festive. Yes. I was going to say, the. I love how you ended that. Like, or will you wake up from the stream to face another Halloween? Well done. Yes. Ara. Great job. Very good job, Ara. Thank you so much for participating. Alrighty, this, moving on now. This is that. Number last nine. one. Well, we have two more. To, or no, it is our last one. It is. But not last the least. One. Moving on is called the Spooky Poem. Made by Groot Tanaka. In this dark time. All vampires come here. You in the forest must be careful. Listen with open ears and remember which way you can go. All swamps bubble from the bottom. The elf girls have disappeared. I hear the howl of the werewolf. It sounds in the ear like being pierced by an owl. A young girl with her dead fetus a punch in the stomach, love costs. She never comes home again. Her body was found the following summer. Hmm. Interesting. Well, that was our last poem. Very nice work, Root, and thank you for Root participating. Tanaka. Big shout out. Yeah. Root. So we. All right. 
at the progeny behind the Fang podcast. Want to give a big shout out to all the winners. But again, yes. we are- everyone's a winner. Actually, <laughs> everyone that participated is a winner. We Good. thank you all. We hope the community enjoys it. Most definitely. And again, big shout out, Lady Alphon. Congratulations for winning our Old Default Poetry Contest. Great yes. job. And I want to thank all y'all for being here with us this evening. Thank you for listening. Thank you for joining us on our podcast. Make sure you like and subscribe. We will have another one very soon. Thank you, y'all. Good night. Christmas is on the way. You know, Christmas. <laughs> He's rushing it. Stop Christmas. rushing it, you. Christmas special time. Yeehaw. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot, ladies and gentlemen. You all have a oh, wonderful wait. evening. Wait, you had a turkey joke, remember? Oh, well, if I was, if I was going to turn a turkey, I would have to name it, you know, Count Turkula, you know. just <laughs> <laughs> Count Gobula or yeah. Fangsgiving. Yes. See, he would be a festive turkey with fangs. Yes. I think Lady Felly will have fun with this, too. I'm sure she'll have a lot of turkeys floating around in this video. It's going to be awesome. Most definitely. So. We want to give a big shout-out to the awesome Lady Felly for all her hard work. Yes, she does an amazing job. Magic. We thank you. Ladies thank and gentlemen, you so much. we will see you all again very soon. <laughs>